Let's we'll stay a bit on this issue as the um, Africa Education Watch says the decision to single source pass question raises disturbing uh, issues about value for money. So now let's go on Zoom and speak with uh, Kofi Asar, who's the executive director of the Africa Education Watch. Uh, Grashen sir, thanks for your time. You raised issues about value for money, but the education minister says the, the results prove otherwise in terms of the performance as compared to previous WASIs? We have raised issues with spending efficiency. And good afternoon to your cherished audience. We have raised issues with spending efficiency. Mm. And spending efficiency means that in spending allocated funds, we have not been diligent. That is, that those are the issues we have raised, that they are potential issues of spending inefficiency in the deal. And why are we saying this? We are saying this because last year, Africa Development Bank, in its economic outlook for Africa, indicated that the continent is contributing 5% of GDP to education, which is second highest after the European Commission, after the, after the European Union. However, when it comes to spending efficiency, the continent ranks last, way below South America. And it indicates that if we are able to increase our spending efficiency to the level of South America, which is up to 75% from the 50% that we were, we will be able to increase our primary completion rate from 79% 70, to 98%. As we sit here in Ghana, about 20% of children who enroll in primary school are not able to complete basic school. And why? It is because of resource constraints. Go to the rural areas, you see how resource stricken most schools are. There are about 4,500 schools in Ghana that are primary schools without junior high schools. So when a, a child completes school in this community, they have to commute sometimes 10 miles a day to the nearest school for junior high school. Mm. It is that process that creates, among others, school dropouts. One of the key drivers of school dropouts between primary school and junior high school one. So when you have 34 million Ghana cities to spend and you decide that you are going to spend that money through giving a single source procurement contract to a company that has no track record in the publishing industry to publish 449,000 past questions for you, then it means you do not appreciate the context of your challenges. The context of our challenges are two resource inefficiency or spending inefficiency and then human resource management inefficiency these are the two challenges in the education sector all the rest are symptoms that is why we have an issue with this we think that the ministry of education should have subjected this deal through a competitive process consistent with his excellency's promise in 2016 when he indicated that the, the country has now turned into a country where Restricted tendering and single source procurement has become a norm mm. instead of an exception. Exception, and when he comes into power, he was going to make competitive procurement the norm and make single source and restricted, restricted tendering an exception. Unfortunately, what we have seen in the Ministry of Education in the past five years does not, you know, speak to His Excellency's promise. Mm. We are, in the Ministry of Education, the scarcest commodity today is competitive tendering. It is difficult to find it, even if a microscope. And that is why we are raising issues with this, this one too. Mm. The last time it was calculators. Every time we are having issues with major procurement activities being submitted to single source procurement, where in an actual fact, there is no basis. And so we believe that past questions are very good. They will help the students and prepare them adequately for examination. And they will, it, will, it will help them to to perform well in examination. That is not in question. Indeed, we commend government for supporting students in that endeavor, providing what they need to equip them to pass the examination well. Mm. But our issue is that the process for procuring these past questions raises spending efficiency issues. All right, now, Mr. Which Sorry, in terms of spending so efficiency issues, going sure forward, sources. going forward, how would you like uh, government address uh, eff efficiency in this regard? We are issuing um, we are issuing a paper to Gabon later today. But ahead of that, I can tell you that one of the key recommendations we are making to Gabon is that we should have a system where past questions should be used for at least two years or three years, mm. because test books are used for at least th between three and five years before government replaces them. 
So the, 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 the whole approach to approaching past questions as disposables must change. We must use them the way we use textbooks so that when students finish using them, they, tend, they, they take them back to the school. And then the next year, the next year students will also use same. We don't have to procure 35 million of, test, um, of past questions yeah. every year. No country, even without resource, um, uh, resource deficits, would em they employ such an approach in okay. managing the educational system. All right, so many thanks for your time, Mr. Sar. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to continue with this conversation.